Hi, I'm Howdy Gowdy. I'm a researcher at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, where I study energy efficient windows. In this video, I'm gonna provide basic window terminology background to help you understand how to apply your expertise and technology to improve the performance of windows in the future. The basic window starts with a single piece of glass, which could be clear or tinted. So the glass is supported by a structural element called the frame. It could be wood, vinyl, or aluminum. The movable portion of the frame is called the sash. Windows can be fixed or operable where the sash moves. The operator types are an awning, where the glass hinges at the top. We can also have a casement where the sash is hinged at the side. A sliding window has the sashes pass by each other either horizontally or vertically. To make a window a better insulator, we move from one layer of glass to two layers of glass. This is called an insulated glazing unit or an IGU. It traps an, a layer of air, and that air can also be other gases. Inert gases like argon and krypton provide better thermal insulation. At the perimeter of the IGU is a spacer system that contains the gas and prevents moisture from getting inside and condensing on the glass surfaces. To make a double pane window an even better insulator, a coating can be applied to one of the glass surfaces. This coating is typically called a low emissivity coating or low E. It can also add solar control as well as provide better thermal insulation. Because a double pane window has four surfaces, we have a convention to number them from the exterior to the inside. One, two, three, and four. And this is the exterior. Coatings can also be applied to existing glass in the form of, of an applied film, which is typically put on the interior surface. These applied films can have a tint, they can provide solar control or low E properties. It's also possible to apply additional layers of glass to existing windows. And this is called a secondary glazing system or SGS, or it's more familiarly known as a storm window, which is often placed on the outside of an existing window, but it can also be placed on the interior. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video about basic window terminology has given you a better understanding of how you might apply your technology and expertise to make windows more energy efficient. Click here for more videos in this series.